good morning it is 5 45 in the morning and we are heading to the airport Good things. You don't mind if I put this in the booth, eh? Yeah, I do not mind. Okay. okay. Yeah, Airport. Airport. Sometimes nothing annoys me more than when someone takes advantage of another person because of their lack of information. And I think I dislike it even more when it relates to my industry, giving my industry a bad name as well as me a bad name. So my, my dislike or my anger is directed to something called influencers. If none of you know what an influencer is, it is basically a person on a social media channel with like 50,000 followers that they say has influence over people. And what happens is brands pay their money um, in order to post about their product, they use their product, and then hopefully some of their followers would want their product. But the world of influencers is a very dirty one. <sighs> Meetings are finally done. So, so now what happens is that a brand uh, pays an influencer, it's a good deal, a uh, couple of thousand rand to post some posts on Instagram, send some stories uh, promoting their product. That's all fine. But the thing is, the dirty thing of this whole unethical issue that I have is that they don't know, the brand doesn't know, that half the time these influencers actually buy their following on Instagram. I mean, I can easily buy you 10,000 followers on Instagram cost you about hundred two hundred dollars there's click farms in Russia or Singapore or where be it and you get 10,000 followers you can get 50,000 followers and that's actually what happens here is this influencer buys a bunch of followers uh, so they're not real people even and then charges a brand to reach these followers which actually aren't followers so basically what I think that is it's daylight robbery So my one piece of advice, if an influencer approaches you with such a deal, um, my suggestion is to do an audit on them. Go click on them, go click on their followers, and actually go and look at at least 20 followers that follow their account. And you can easily tell who is fake and who is not because the pictures they post, as well as no one really follows 6,000 people. And if it's a bot account, it generally follows more than 5,000 people. <laughs> 